the best way to reach out to those teens is through other teens. Our main mission is prevention. We become conscious to the fact that exposing the lives of tobacco companies and changing social norms is the best way to keep our peers from tobacco prevention. We are currently working on changing all New Jersey school policies to 100% tobacco-free comprehensive policies. We are a statewide, youth-led, youth-driven anti-tobacco movement. In the past, when funding was more available, we were able to have events such as the RTLI, which is the Rebel Tobacco Learning Institute, and statewide summits. Even though it may seem like Rebel doesn't do much, we really do. We help kids in our school realize the dangers of smoking and try to help them quit. I myself, my eighth grade year, began to smoke because I believed smoking was a stress reliever. Once I got involved with high school and Rebel, I quit right away. Rebel not only saved my life, it saved many others' lives. And with your help, hopefully we'll continue saving the lives of many young adults. Thank you. Thank you. New Jersey will be the worst state in the country when it comes to the support of the state for tobacco control. We can, we can do better than that. Uh, that's an embarrassment to have New Jersey, a leader in so many areas of public health, be dead last for the number one preventable cause of death in the United States. And Rebel has kept me from being a smoker. In, in my early years in middle school and my involvement with Rebel, uh, my, well, I should say my involvement with Rebel helped me strengthen my resistance to the influence of the tobacco industry. One of the best predictors of tobacco control success over time is state funding for evidence-based uh, programs. The more states spend on sustained, comprehensive tobacco control programs, the greater the reductions in smoking. In addition, the longer states continue to invest in such programs, the greater and faster the impact. After only eight years of New Jersey cessation programs, the percent of ever smokers who have quit in New Jersey jumped 10 percentage points. And that's demonstrated uh, somewhat in that chart over there. I want you to know I stand here today as a former Rebel member and leader who knows that without Rebel and comprehensive tobacco control program funding, uh, that tobacco use rates will go up. And this will be a huge cost to New Jersey taxpayers. Each year, 19,700 New, Jer New Jersey teens under 18 become daily smokers. That's 54 teens a day who will become addicted to smoking. Since each smoker costs New Jersey almost $6,000 each year in health care costs and lost productivity, that's over $100 million annually in costs to the New Jersey taxpayers. Please do not allow the Comprehensive Tobacco Control Program and Rebel to go unfunded. This is for the future of the state that I live in and love living in. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. We have a couple of other students from Rebel here, and if they would.